ama poise aingoz ngonaza kwethu as much as ama poise akwazi ukuthi ayilethi imali ayibekelana ephushele ekwenzele izinto zenzeka but at the same time they demand lots and lots and lots of sex that's a disadvantage ya khona ama boys alala ngumkakho or intombi yakho ingane yakho nje imiqalo ukuthomba ikhishwa yibona umntombi ingane yakho umama wakho egcekeni ubaba wakho egcekeni kwawena uqobo ama boys ayakhwela I've done my research I've met people abana ama boys ama boys I've met people na manje kunabantu engibasizayo to make sure which we trying to get rid of ama boys and trust me sometimes it's more expensive to get rid of them than it was to get them Babyanch aka Jesus Lover. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe to help you girl to grow. So guys, I know I've been speaking so much against the African culture, against ancestors, against Sangomas that people want to know, "Bobby, why are you speaking so much on this topic? Why is your preaching fixated on this particular topic?" Well the answer is guys I don't I don't choose my own topics I don't decide what I will preach about that is all entirely on the holy spirit and right now the holy spirit is pushing me and leading me to speak against the kingdom of the darkness because I can see that the lord is calling me to shed light on the kingdom of the darkness and to tear it apart and to expose the lies of the devil and guys those who are in on my facebook those who follow me on my facebook can attest to this that people are being delivered there are wonderful testimonies on my wall there are wonderful testimonies of people who were deceived into in, in into the kingdom of the darkness people who were already in the process of accepting um the calling of 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 to, to become uh, sangomas people who were or who were ready um in the process who are already in the process of being initiated to be some of us they are waking up and they are rejecting it that they, they are rejecting it and they're coming back and saying baby glory to jesus for using you they have heard the lord loud and clear they now know that this is not of the lord because there's a deception people think that um ancestors are are their angels they think that ancestors they are their mediators to god which is not scripture it's a lie 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 of the devil and people don't know that because many churches shy away from talking about such things in fear of hurting the people so they would rather make you happy please you with lies than to displease you with the truth well me i will hurt you with the truth i will hurt you with the truth of the lord you can fight it but just remember it's not my opinions it is scriptural you're not fighting me but you are fighting god who said those things in the bible okay so today i will be talking about my testimony about when i was still in, in the darkness when i was dabbling in the kingdom of the devil because i myself come from there but before we do that let's take a look of at this other guys um testimony and i will be back zinhlanga hlangana likhanda zinhlangana abantu abaningi abaye bangitshela ngamagundwana landi imali ingakithi ngobaba wathi na magundwana edeya letha 50000 to such an extent ukuthi namagcina sengidlile imali nithi ngilandela la magundwana uthe zo replace le imali yathi ngichaphaza ukuthi bekhona angicetha magundwana khona zwa keep ngele show bright ebuye zongenelana nemali Tati malu ivale lendini. Ngangi fake prefixi ngangi lande ngapha komhlabe alingani. Alilanda lapha 30000 apho 
I'll to me shop right. Ngoba wathi na ungali to me a tag shop. Estole ni malingan. I'm for an end of it. Manje, I dig him. I lean the Labue. I was so weird now young. One valama, one valimia, one valama window, and I'm fully lent in the king. It is. I want for a sin. I couldn't do any toddle. Daughter, manje, I take Pelalana Seculi, motors, a pitches, a little shy sway motor. I'm very high. A pelolo, a man, a shy sway motor. I jadog. So this is what happens when you put your trust on yourself, when you trust your own intelligence, when you trust your own strength, when you trust creation, when you trust human beings and evil demonic animals for blessings. This is what happens. You fall victim to scams. And if you saw at the beginning of this video, when the, 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 Sangoma was being interviewed. They revealed that these things, um, if they do work for you, if they truly do work for you, unlike this one, this one was scammed. And I think he, like this scam actually saved him. So if you look at the first video at the beginning of the um, uh, at the beginning of this video, it shows a, a Sangoma speaking with, with, with an interviewer. And there they are revealing that these things can actually demand sex from you whether you are a man or a woman they will sleep with you imagine sleeping with something so demonic the the hazard that is doing in, in inside you guys we already even know that um sex is a spiritual act it's, it, it's demonic even when you are doing it with another person. If you are doing it outside marriage or you are um, cheating on your spouse, it's demonic and it opens demonic doors. I've already dealt um, a deep, I've already dived deep in this topic um, in my other, in my previous videos. I'm just reminding you that even, even when we are engaging in this act among ourselves, human to human, outside wedlock, it can be demonic how much more demonic is it now when it is done between a human being and an entity an entity of the devil what damage does it do to you physically and spiritually is it really worth and uh, this is the wealth worth it i guys how Nines being you guys are brave shame it could never be me it could never be me so this one he's um he, he he got scammed and he was lucky that he got scammed because at least he doesn't have to sleep with the demons of that creature at least that creature won't be um demanding blood sacrifices we know these things right they demand blood sacrifices at times you have to kill your own children or they kill your your parents or whomever you love and uh, guys so what causes one to chase after sangomas i will tell you the main reason is jealousy jealousy when you look around your peers they are driving cars Things are happening for them. They are buying houses. And now you feel stuck. And you're like, Kaibo, what's happening with my life? I want those things too. Now you are coveting. We know in the Ten Commandments, God tells us not to covet. What is to covet? To covet. To mundo. If I see you driving a car, I cannot say, wow. Congratulations with a pure heart and be truly happy for you. But I, I even with my congratulations, I'm I'm bitter inside, asking myself, why are good things happening to other people? Why is this not happening to me? And now, you know, that jealousy puts pressure on you. And now it blinds you to the blessings that God already has given you. And then now you start seeking people who are 
in the kingdom of the darkness in the hopes that the king the the, 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 the devil whom they worship the devil whom they work for will bless you in the hopes that he will bless you with the things that you are impatiently seeking Guys, scripture says God's plans are bigger than the plans we have for ourselves. And scripture also says when the time is right, God will make it happen. But people don't want to wait on God. People don't trust God with his blessings when he's telling us not to worry. Not to worry about anything but to just focus on him. Because when we focus on him, that's when the blessing starts flowing in, in into our lives no people they they want things now they want things to happen now so now they chase after these sangamas they chase after these ancestral rituals they chase after these demonic creatures that will bring them wealth there's deadly consequences for that there's deadly consequences for doing that here on earth and even more deadliest um, consequences in the afterlife in eternity where you will be paying for ever where you will be paying the price for eternity in the lake of fire because that's where you are going if you die in this thing if you don't come to jesus and repent and trust in him for blessings this is what scripture says let's let's look at what scripture says about putting your trust on people and not trusting god Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to verse 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. Cursed is the man who trusts in mankind, who makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. I know some of you are sitting there and saying, but this works for other people. Like this guy was unfortunate, but it usually works for most people. People get rich from this. Yes, people do get rich for, for, from, from such things. Why? It's because the devil will sometimes give you what you are looking for. The devil will give you what you are looking for to keep you linked to him. And the, the more he, he blesses you, because, you know, the devil copies everything that Jesus does. Jesus has servants. The devil has servants. Jesus has a gospel. The devil also has his gospel. Jesus blesses. The devil also blesses. So he will give you these things. He will give you. He will give you. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth your soul? Let's... Let's go back to scripture. Let's go back. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? So is your soul worth this short, short, short life? Because life is short, guys. Life is very short. One day, one minute we are here, the next minute we are gone. And let's say you get these things, but you will leave them here. You will leave them here. And everything that you have, your bands, your, 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 your mansions, they won't matter in the afterlife when you are burning in hell. You will even regret those things. You will even wish that you could go back. There are also even people who have twilight successfully, but now are suffering consequences from that. And they, 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 they wish they had not done it. They regret it, but they can't get rid of these things. They can't get rid of these things. And you know, this could be what God has in store for you. But when I, now you are impatient and you don't trust in God's timing, you chase after Sangomas, you chase after these um, demonic um, uh, um, creatures that will help you to get rich. And the devil might give you a blessing this big. And to you, you might think, wow, this is massive. It's because you don't know that God had actually planned to give you a bigger and much, much bigger blessing. But you were impatient because you were impatient. Now that blessing is 
not coming for you. The blessing is withheld because Jesus will never give you massive blessings because he knows you will think they are from your ancestors or they are from this creature and then you will start thinking the wrong things, the wrong entities that had nothing to do with the blessing. That had nothing to do with the blessing. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. As you can see, the word of God says blessing starts flowing into your life when you are living accordingly, when you are pleasing the Lord. But you guys, you want to live in disobedience. You want to do whatever you want to do with your life. You know, you want to be your own God. You don't want to follow the word, the, 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 the word of God. You don't, you don't want to obey his commandments, but you expect blessings. How can you expect God to bless you if you are not willing to obey him and to surrender everything to him? Like, some of you are even parents. Would you constantly like spoil your child if your child is misbehaving? If your child is into drugs, he's a drug addict or um, or is stealing here at home and doing bad things, would you spoil that child even though they are displeasing you? No, you wouldn't. You'd be crazy to do that. Would you buy a car for a child who failed at school, who failed matric or who failed at tertiary? without even trying to succeed would you would you spoil the child no so now how can you uh, expect god to bless you in your disobedience you must first get your ways right with him fix your ways with him surrender your life to him ask for forgiveness repent and 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 be sincere just focus on his face don't focus on his hand and the minute you focus on God's face, meaning focusing on, on living your life for God, his hands open. They open automatically because he is pleased with you. He is your father, so he blesses you because you are pleasing him. People are poor because they choose to be poor. You don't have, literally as the scripture says, you don't have because you do not ask. And my dear... You cannot ask and expect to receive big blessings in your disobedience. Yes, Jesus is good. He will give you small blessings here, small blessings here, even though you are still in sin. But the big ones, forget about it. Up until you obey him, it's not happening. It's not happening. So now, let's start with my own testimony. Some of you may already know, those who follow me on Facebook, that I actually was raised by a Sangoma. So, isn't those like food, actual, um, spins, uh, herbs, like, I know those things. I know those things. Chanting, I know those things. Um, 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 rituals, um, traditional, ancestral rituals. I grew up under those things. My stepfather was a traditional healer. He was so gifted that he even had clients who were white. White people would come to him for muti to protect the, their households or business not to be robbed. He was well known, okay? Um, but the, the weird thing is, although he was get, getting money for what he was doing, we could not see where it was going. It's like it was vanishing in his hands. There was no proof that he is getting so much money from these people. Because one thing about him, the majority of the Sangomas are very poor. The majority of traditional healers are very poor. Because um, the, 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 the devil is wicked, guys. He will keep you chasing after your tail, keep you chasing after your tail, thinking if I do this thing, it will please him. Maybe I will get more blessings. If I do this ritual, it will please him. If I slaughter this cow, it will please him. 
then I shall get more blessings. But you will do that until your money finishes without seeing any results. The only thing that will help you to get rich as a sangwama, the only thing that will get you that will help you to get rich as a as a spiritual healer is if utwale kemiako. Funeka utwale. Ukuz ube rich. So my daddy wenga twale. Wenga twelang. And la baba famous. They, 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 they are scams. They are rich because they are scammers. They are famous. They are well known. Therefore, they, 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 they have a bigger client base, you know, due to their fame. But now, Bulababandu, I come to. I don't think they can help anyone. Some of us cannot really help anyone. No, they cannot. Even I was watching this show, Ilo Zilami. That show. Um, the, 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 the lady just goes and uses mediums, um, I'm sorry, and, 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 and uses like, um, the, the familiar de demons, the fam familiar spirits to tell you things that you guys already know. And then to tell you things that you don't even know. But after shocking you with some element of the truth and, and new information that you did not know, which now makes sense to you, they cannot help you after that. You know, a lot of people are so impressed with this show. Joslam, oh, Joslam, oh, this lady is so powerful. Is she really? Did you guys follow up on the people that came to uh, to to, uh, to seek help? To, to, to see, okay, after they were told what they already knew, which was the truth. And after they were told the new information from the other side. Did they really receive help? We don't know. And I, I, I can bet my last cent that they had not received any help. Because my dad was also good with that. My dad would tell you and be accurate. Tell you things. And you'd be like, wow, wow, this man is so powerful. This man, he can see. This man is indeed walking, uh, working for God. God is revealing these things to him. But beyond that, there's nothing he can do for you. But he will not say that because he needs your money. He will give you this and that and that and everything. But there will still be no change in your life. But you know, you'll just be opening more portals into your life. So Mina, I grew up around that environment uh, with my daddy um, doing such things. And guys, I was a very, very terrified individual. I always felt like there were things like, like uh, it's like I feel like I was always surrounded inside the house. When I was outside, I'd, I'd, I'd be okay. But within my house, I always felt, even when I'm alone, I always felt like I'm not alone. But not in a good, reassuring way. Um, I always felt really scared, like something bad is going to happen or something. Like something is looking at me in with hatred. And sometimes at night when I go to peek um, into the into the bathroom, to the bathroom. When I walk from my room to the bathroom, I would see shadows, like shadowy figures. And I was not the only one seeing these things. My, 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 my siblings, my family members who were staying with us also saw these things. And the people said, um, no, um, these are your ancestors. These are the spirits that your daddy works with. Don't be scared of them. But if they were, why, why, why were they terrifying? Why were they not giving us peace and security? Why were they so terrifying? I believe that what my dad was doing, he was opening spiritual portals in Ekai. I, I believe he was really welcoming um, demons into their place. And I feel like even the demons that were passing by, they would come into the house because they felt welcomed and would never leave. It was like that until he passed away. And shame, after he passed away, we we were not that deep into Muti. Um, because he was the one, right, who was supplying us with all these things. After he passed away due to cancer, because he was a smoker, the activity um, quieted down. It quieted down. So, guys, ah, Muti can open a lot of demonic doors into your life so okay um the main thing the main testimony that i want to share with you is when i was about to get married 
to 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 a, a boyfriend of mine who was not saved but he said hey i can't marry you if you haven't done this and that like there were some um, uh, um traditional ceremonies that my mom hadn't done for me and uh, so i i told my mom mom um since you did not do umbilical for me since you did not do this this you did not do that for me i think this december let's go do it and that was back in 2017 i think or 2018 2017 i'm not sure i said okay since you didn't do these things for me i will do them for myself so let's go to the eastern cape to do these things and my mom agreed we went there and we bought the, the goat we were told to buy purchase a goat for this um ceremony i purchased the goat and it was slaughtered and then people were speaking over it and then like yeah you know that whole thing yeah and um i was uh, seated on ikuku where i was uh, where i was told to sleep like on that night in, in on that night i did not sleep on my bed but i slept on a cuckoo next to the slaughtered sheep they slaughtered it today and then tomorrow it was going to be cooked and fried okay so i i i had to 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 to, to sleep to spend one night with it so i i i i, I slept and the the thing the the goat was just above my head and in that on that night i had a, a, an encounter i had a vision i had a dream um with now with what i now know was a familiar spirit in my dream i saw an old man light skinned with lots of moles on his face but this man had the horns of this same goat the same horns of the goat this man had those um horns and i think he also had a goatee and he was kneeling above me he called me by my name yanga yanga from today onwards you are no longer yanga that is no longer your name your name is blah 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 i forgot that name and i said okay that's what i said in my dreams i said okay but like when i woke up and i told my mom my mom was like what is the name tell us what is the name so we can start calling you by that name what is the name but i could not remember and i think that was god's protection because that name guys would have binded me into that kingdom of the devil had i called it had i remember it because even like in the the the, the sangomas right they get new names they get new names which bind them deeper and root them deeper in the kingdom of the darkness they get new names after they they have been initiated they are copying what god does because if you remember god um would change his servant's name from Ab abram to abraham from sarah to uh, you know sarah to sarah I'm, I'm sorry guys i can't i can't pronounce that name but from 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 saul saul to paul we've been seeing this pattern of god changing um his servants names we've been seeing this so the devil copies it the devil copies it and that's what the devil was trying to do with me changing my name so i can be in his kingdom deep deep like nails deep so everyone was frustrated that i couldn't remember the the name and that was god's protection guys that was god's protection and um yo i received the thing the the beard after the, the that ceremony and um yeah i i i i went back home and you know that that beard that bead sorry that bead oh it brought me a lot of misery in during the time i had it a lot of things were going wrong in my life i was I, I i lost my job i i was all constantly fighting with with my fiance of that time we fought even to the extent that he he tried to strangle me and in that process he broke the, the, the that beard that bead thank god he broke it he broke that bead in my work with the devil i've been poor I, I, i'm not preaching the um prosperity gospel here but i'm trying to to paint a picture of how 
I, 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 how I prolonged my blessings from God. I was poor, I was miserable. I lost jobs, like job after job after job. I kept losing jobs and I would pray to Jesus. Every time I lost a job, I would pray to Jesus asking for, for him to bless me with work and he would give it to me, guys. He would give me a new job and then what would I do with my first salary? I would, I would do a, 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 a ritual to thank my ancestors. But when I'm asking for a job, I'm asking Jesus. When I, I receive what I was praying for, I don't thank Jesus. I thank my ancestors publicly for everyone to see. So I was, I just, yeah. Things started looking up for me when I met Jesus. I could count all the wonderful things that have happened in my life, the, the assets and properties that I have gained, but you guys would think I'm bragging and will inter misinterpret the whole thing. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna focus there. But before coming to Jesus, I just wanted to know I had nothing. I had absolutely nothing under my name. And even people were calling me E-K-A-K-A, -A -A, a miss. E K A K A Yemis Esokolayo Benanto Because that's what they saw. And things were so bad for me, they didn't it didn't seem like God could ever change the situation. And ever since I focused on God, I didn't come here thinking, oh, if I come to God, um my life is gonna change and my situation No, I came to God knowing I needed him. When I met him, I knew instantly how filthy I was. I was so aware of my sins. I, w I was so aware of my filth. And I'm like, oh Lord, oh Lord, I've, I've wronged you. I've wronged you. I've wronged you. All my life, I've wronged you. I've wronged you. I've wronged you. Wash me clean, Lord. Wash me clean. I take, 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 take this filth away. I hate myself. I can't look at myself. I can't bear this knowledge of how sinful I am. So that was my focus. The focus was on trying to get right with God through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, not by my own strength. But then that's when good things started happening because I did not come to Jesus looking for blessings like the people that go to these fake churches and listen to doctrines that are not sound doctrines of the devil that are not scripture when the pastor is shouting you will receive your husband you will receive your blessings and everyone is screaming i receive i receive no 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 those churches are packed with people that are looking for blessings they are searching for the hands of the lord instead of focusing on the face of the lord so what i will tell you is that please please trust jesus with your life and only him don't trust no sangoma don't 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 be pressurized by other people's achievements it is their season be happy for them and trust that your season is also coming just focus on how can i be a better servant for the lord how can i obey the lord how can i learn and understand the word of the lord more how can i receive the holy spirit how can i fix my relationship with god that's all that we have to focus on and then the rest shall follow so guys that was my testimony i hope you guys enjoyed so i guess i will see you next time bye bye i love you so much but jesus loves you even more